As you wear these rings, whether together or apart for a moment, may they be constant reminders of these promises you're making today. I didn't mean it. That was not part of the rehearsal. <laughs> As we've come together today in the presence of God as witnesses of the joining of this man and this woman in holy matrimony, let us regard marriage as the highest and happiest of human relationships, the preserver of true love, the foundation of the home, and the strength of our society. The scriptures teach us that marriage should be held in honor above all. <laughs> staying true to who God has made you to be, learn to help each other in order to make your life's journey together one of reliant joy and happiness. and Alyssa are here today, you two are giving yourselves to each other in a show of unconditional love. You will make a solemn vow to each other, a deliberate promise that will be for better or for worse in order for you both to be true and faithful to each other. This means you must be patient at all times. I'll try. <laughs> it is only with God's help that you can keep these promises you're making to each other today. And the nearer you both keep to God, the closer and dearer you will be to each other. I, Jordan, take you, Alyssa, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poor, in sickness and health, to love and cherish till death do us part. I, Alyssa, take you, Jordan, to be my husband, to have and hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and health, to love and cherish until death do us part. As you wear these rings, whether together or apart for a moment, may they be constant reminders of these promises you are making today. I give you this ring to wear with love and joy, as a ring has no end, neither will my love or you. I choose you to be my wife this day and forevermore. I give you this ring to wear with love and joy. As a ring has no end, neither will my love for you. I choose you to be my husband this day and forevermore. Now that Jordan and Alyssa have given themselves to each other by solemn vow, for us and God as witnesses, and have shown their affection and trust by the giving and receiving of rings, and by the joining of hands, I now pronounce them husband and wife. Therefore, what God has joined together, let not man separate. You may kiss your bride. Everything for Big John comes back to sports, and I always want to make an analogy. So I want to make an analogy here tonight with basketball. So here we are. This is the first quarter, and Co 
Coach A, and, you know, legs are fresh, got lots of energy. The pregame warm-up was 10 years, so that's, that's a little much. I don't know, Cedric, if his, uh, if his crossovers, if it, that's how quick he is, he's not breaking many ankles. <laughs> We've talked about good teams and bad teams and great moments and the moments that have broken our hearts. And you guys now, this is, this is your team. And this is the most important team you've ever been on. And this is the most important teammate you've ever had. And so it's, it's, it's first quarter, and married life takes us through this path. And the first quarter, we're fresh and energy. And second quarter, probably kids come along. I'm making generalizations here. Kids come along, and then God had a great way of putting in halftime because you sort of take a deep breath after the kids are up or grown, and it's halftime. And then third quarter arrives, and here come the grandbabies. And, you, and it, reju it, re it rejuvenates the whole family, and you're having great times, great memories, and the fourth quarter hits, and everybody hopes for a healthy and great, happy retirement. So. So my wish for you is that all your timeouts are 30-second timeouts. Limit the personal fouls, and the four quarters of your marriage, I hope, are the greatest four quarters of your life. Listen. I'll start out by saying, Melissa, you look beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. She makes the most perfect bride. These two, I mean, they're absolutely perfect together. I mean, the wedding, I mean, it was, it was gorgeous. It was perfect. It was, seriously. I've got to watch these guys grow as teenagers to crazy college kids. So I did have one memory. Um, I did get to pick the lovely couple up from a party way back when. But all I remember is Alyssa was, you know, talking a million miles an hour, and Jordan, of course, was rolling his eyes. <laughs> and Alyssa was just saying, I just love you, Doherty. <laughs> but anyway, I'm so proud of you guys and how much you've grown, and I love you guys. So cheers. <laughs>